everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. This is book 7 in the Harry Potter series and is also the concluding book to, again, this amazing series. And I read, of course, if you guys have been following my channel, you would know this already. I reread the entire Harry Potter series in the months of July and August in preparation for the release of Car The Cursed Child, which was released at the end of July. I have still not gotten into The Cursed Child, but I will soon. And this I finished at the end of July, I'm not at the end of July, the end of August, and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And this is actually the first time I have ever completed the final book in this series. I have tried to reread it and finish it so many times. However, I always rented it from my local library, and I always had to return it so I could never get, um, I would get to like the halfway point of the book and then would have to stop and return it to the library, and also this book is absolutely gigantic, so that might have been <laughs> hanging apart in why I never finished it. But I did really enjoy it, I am so glad I did finally finish it. I was sad that it is the concluding novel, um, but I know we have The Cursed Child, and we also have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the movie that comes out um, this next, next month, November. Um, so that's something to look forward to, to get more insight into the Harry Potter world. Um, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed reading this and finally uh, finishing it for myself. And there was just so many amazing things about it. The story of the Deathly Hallows, the Invisibility Cloak, the Elder One, and the Resurrection Stone. Hearing the story of that and how it all came to be at the Lovegood's house with Harry, Ron, Hermione, and uh, Luna and her father was really interesting. That was probably one of my favorite parts of the entire story as well as the entire series as a whole. It is just... It's incredible how all these little artifacts we have seen throughout the entire series up to this point really came into play and what the symbolism behind them all really is. Um, I think that was just a fantastic element to the story to finally find out that the Invisibility Cloak and the Resurrection Stone were just in the Elder One finally came into play. Also, there was so much death in this story. This, the deaths in Harry Potter really didn't affect me up until this point when I read The Deathly Hallows and saw the movie adaptations as well. I did see the adaptations before reading most of the books. The Half-Blood Prince and The Deathly Hallows, I saw, the movies I saw before I read the books. Um, and there was so much death. And again, I hadn't finished the story until this point. Um, and I didn't realize how much each death would affect me. I mean, up until this book, again, uh, deaths like um, Cedric Diggory or Sirius Black or even Dumbledore really did not affect me at all. Um, but the deaths in this one, we have Snape, we have Dubby, we have so many characters that we've grown to love throughout the seven books dying in this book, and it just broke my heart. Um, and I, of course, I love Dubby. I think he was an incredible character. He made me laugh to the point of almost crying. He was just a fantastic character, and his death was the most heartbreaking one. I remember seeing the part one of the Deathly Hallows movie and nearly crying my eyes out from it, uh, even though I hadn't read the books at that point. Snape's death, another one that really affected me, and more of the movie than the book. Uh, rest in peace, Alan Rickman. <laughs> he uh, did pass away um, this past I think February, so rest in peace, and then the character in the book, ugh. I've never liked Snape until I think the Half-Blood Prince, um, I started to like him and enjoy his character, and then we get to see his memory of when he was growing up, and he got to meet Lily, who was Harry's mom, obviously, and he had feelings for her, and what he was like at Hogwarts, it was just a, a death that really affected me for Anna Will for a very, very long time. However, all it was all happy endings in the end. I love the 19 years leading later part as well as well as the battle between the final battle between Voldemort and Harry. The final battle was just epic. It was one that it will make you stay on the edge of your seat. If you guys haven't read the books already, it makes you go be on the edge of your seat the entire time and uh, it's just epic in the way it all ends of course Voldemort does end up dying and Harry comes out on top and it was just a fantastic way to wrap it all up and then we get to the 19 years later part where we have 
Harry, Ron, and Hermione when they're a little older, 19 years later, obviously after the Battle of Hogwarts. And we get to see their kids being sent off to Hogwarts to attend their first year at the school. And I thought that just added a whole nother plot. That was that could have been a, a whole entire story of how the kids did at Hogwarts. I know that's kind of what kind of goes on in The Cursed Child. Again, I haven't read it yet, so I really don't know much about it. But, uh, you know, seeing the way Harry, Ron, and Hermione act with their kids is incredible. It makes me want to cry my eyes out because the finale is just perfect. And, you know, it's just the just perfect. I couldn't ask for any better. Um, out of all the books, this is probably the one I enjoyed rereading slash finishing the the most, um, besides the Apple of Prince, of course, if you have seen my review for that, it's obviously my favorite book in the series, but this is a close second or third, in my opinion. I absolutely loved it. I couldn't have asked for a better ending to a fantastic series. It'll always be probably my favorite concluding novel that I have ever read. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'll have all my links to all my other reviews of all the other Harry Potter books linked in the description box below if you guys would like to check them out. And I also have all my social media links linked in the description box below if you guys want to follow me and see what I am doing when I'm not here in the front of the camera. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I also have Goodreads, and again, those will all be linked to the description below, as well as my website, where I have reviews for all of the books I've ever read um, before they are posted here on the channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a fantastic Halloween, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!